Hi everybody, Beanmeister22 here. We are going to put a Southern Black Widow that came in the mail. This is, uh, I think, the third Southern Black Widow we have gotten into one of the new habitats we set up. Look, it's pretty flowers. Get the spider out of here. Come on. <laughs> she doesn't want, doesn't want to get out of the container, obviously. We have that problem again. All right, come on, get out of there. I'm not, well, I'm not messing around. Pro Whoa. <laughs> really close to the... Ah, get out of there, spider. Yeah, get my hand out of the way. So the problem with this setup is these flowers are really close to the top. So I am afeared that this, come on, get out of there, that this bug, this spider, this black widow, ooh, hopefully we'll climb onto the flower, is going to be staying high in this container. When I ordered these flowers online, I had no idea they were this tall. Another one of my mismeasurement, misjudgment. That spider does not want to leave that little container. This is your new home. Get into your new... Oh, come on. Now get off the tweezers. Come on, let go of the tweezers. Let go, let go. Let go. Come on, get, look at these pretty flowers. There we go. Get the lid on. Remember, this is one of those coffee bean containers that we bought on Amazon. We drilled holes in the wooden lids. All right, there she is, hanging around... And the problem with her being up really high means I can't take the lid off to let extra light in there so we get a better view of her. But I am interested to see how she is going to uh, be in this container. Yes, they're not real flowers. They are fake. They're not plastic flowers. They're cloth flowers. So we have just uh, rehabitated or rehabitated. We have habitated, housed, housed, gave a black widow spider a place to live. And uh, let's see how well she works out. Ugh. All right, so leave your comments in the comment section. As always, thanks for watching. Beanmeister22, the most dangerous man on YouTube.